Argentine Navy, Wikipedia article audio. The Navy of the Argentine Republic or Argentine Navy is the Navy of Argentina. It is one of the three branches of the armed forces of the Argentine Republic, together with the Army and the Air Force. Each ship of the Argentine Navy is designated with the prefix ARA before its name. The Argentine Navy Day is celebrated on May 17, anniversary of the victory achieved in 1814 in the Battle of Montevideo over the Spanish fleet during the War of Independence. History 19th Century the Argentine Navy was created in the aftermath of the May Revolution of May 25, 1810, which started the war for independence from Spain. The Navy was first created to support Manuel Belgrano in the Paraguay campaign, but it was sunk by ships from Montevideo, and did not take part in that conflict. Renewed conflicts with Montevideo led to the creation of a second fleet which participated in the capture of the city. As Buenos Aires had little maritime history, most men in the Navy were from other nations, such as the Irish-born Admiral William Brown, who directed the operation. As the cost of maintaining a Navy was too high, most of the Argentine naval forces were composed of privateers. Brown led the Argentine Navy in further naval conflicts at the war with Brazil and the Anglo-French blockade of the Rio de la Plata. In the 1870s the Argentine Navy began modernizing itself. At the close of the century, the force included. The most powerful ships at this time included the Italian-built Garibaldi and her sister ships, General Belgrano, Pieridon, and San Martin, each at over 6,000 tons. Three older ironclads, Almirante Brown, Independencia, and Libertad dated from the 1880s and early 1890s. The Navy's ships were built primarily in Italy, Britain, France, and Spain and were operated by over 600 officers and 7,760 seamen. These were supported by a battalion of marines and an artillery battery. 20th Century Argentina remained neutral in both world wars. In 1940, Argentina's navy was ranked the eighth most powerful in the world and the largest in Latin America. A 10-year building program costing $60 million had produced a force of 14,500 sailors and over a 1,000 officers. The fleet included two First World War-era American-built Rivadavia-class battleships, three modern cruisers, a dozen British-built destroyers, and three submarines in addition to mine layers, mine sweepers, coastal defense ships, and gunboats. A naval air force was also in operation. In the post-war period, naval aviation and Marine Corps units were put under direct Navy command. With Brazil, Argentina is one of two South American countries to have operated two aircraft carriers, the Era Independencia and Era 25 de Mayo. Falklands War the Argentine Navy has been traditionally heavily involved in fishery inspection helping the Coast Guard, most notably in 1966 a destroyer fired on and hold a Soviet trawler that had refused to be escorted to Mar del Plata. In the 1970s there were four more incidents with Soviet and Bulgarian ships and continued in recent years. The Navy also took part in all military coups through the 20th century. During the last dictatorship, Navy personnel were involved in the Dirty War of the late 1970s in which thousands of people were kidnapped, tortured, and killed by the forces of the military junta. The Naval Mechanics School, known as ESMA, was a notorious center for torture. Among their more well-known victims were the Swedish teenager Dagmar Hagelin and French nuns Alice Doman and Leonie Duquette. 
During this regime, the Navy was also the main supporter of a military solution for the country's two longest standing disputes, the Beagle conflict with Chile and the Falkland Islands with the United Kingdom. During the 1982 Falklands conflict termed by the Argentines Guerra de las Malvinas slash Guerra del Atlantico Sur the main Argentine naval fleet consisted of modernized World War II era ships supported with new ones. This fleet was supported by several Elma tankers and transports as well as two icebreakers slash polar ships. Aftermath of the Falklands War New German Miko class destroyers, corvettes, and Thyssen Nord Seaworky submarines were still under construction at the time. Gulf War and 90s Despite leading the invasion of the Falkland Islands, in both strategic and tactical aspects the Argentine fleet played only a small part in the subsequent conflict with the Royal Navy. After HMS Conqueror sank the Aira General Belgrano, the Argentine surface fleet did not venture from a 12-mile coastal limit imposed by the British due to the threat posed by the Royal Navy fleet of nuclear-powered submarines. 21st Century and Today the Argentine Navy's contributions to the war were principally the initial amphibious assaults on 2 and April 3rd, with naval aviation Exocet armed super attendards sinking Sheffield and the Atlantic conveyor, its Skyhawks sinking HMS Ardent, and the Marines, with the 5th Marine Corps Battalion defending Mount Tumbledown. In addition, the Type 42 destroyer Aira Santi Sima Trinidad operating off Staten Island played an important part in the destruction of the British landing ship Sir Galahad on June 8, and a land-based Exocet battery outside Port Stanley scored a direct hit on HMS Glamorgan on June 11, and a Marine Tiger Cat Sam put out of action a Royal Air Force Harrier on June 12. Naval aviation also carried out intensive maritime patrols searching to locate the British fleet for the strike aircraft and British submarines for the anti-submarine Sea King helicopters, while their Lockheed L-188 Electra and Fokker F-28 Fellowship transports reinforced the Port Stanley garrison and evacuated the wounded. The Aira San Luis submarine also played a strategic role nearly sinking the frigate HMS Arrow on May 10, although she scored no hits. The submarine Aira Santa Fe, after a successful resupply mission, was attacked and disabled off South Georgia, where her crew then surrendered along with the Argentine detachment at Gritvacan. She was later scuttled by the British. Structure the core of the fleet was reformed with the retirement of all the World War II era Fletcher and Gearing class destroyers and their replacement with the Miko 360 and 140 classes designed by the German shipyard Blohm and Voss. Also, the submarine force greatly reinforced their assets with the introduction of the Thyssen Nord Seaworky class. Although the original program called for six units with the last four to be built in Argentina, only the two built in Germany were delivered. The amphibious force was drastically affected with the retirement of their only LST landing ship Aira Cabo San Antonio and replacement by a modified cargo vessel, the Aira Bahia San Blas. This situation was to be improved during 2006 with the delivery made by France of the first of the LPD Aragon class landing platform docks but the whole operation was placed in stand by the Argentine government due to asbestos concerns. In 2010 France offered the Fudra instead. France also transferred the Durance, now Aira Patagonia multi-product replenishment ship enhancing the capabilities of the fleet. In 1988 the A-4 Skyhawks were withdrawn leaving the super attended as the only fighter jets in the Navy inventory. 
The already paid for A4HS bought in Israel as their replacement could not be delivered due to the embargo imposed by the United States after the war. Instead IAI used the money to refurbish the S2E trackers to the S2T turbo tracker variant currently in service. High Sea Fleet In the 1990s, the embargo was lifted and the Lockheed L-188 Electras were finally retired and replaced with similar P-3B Orions and civilian Beechcraft King Air Model 200 were locally converted to the MP variant. Submarine Force In 2000 the aircraft carrier Era 25 de Mayo was decommissioned without replacement, although the Navy maintains the air group of super attendered jets and S-2 trackers that routinely operate from the Brazilian Navy aircraft carrier Sao Paulo Arix Video or United States Navy carriers when they are in transit in the South Atlantic during Gringo Gaucho Mano Uverse. Five armored cruisers, four coastal defense ironclads, three second-class, high-speed, British-built cruisers, seven modern small cruisers and gunboats, four destroyers and, 22 torpedo boats. Argentina was the only Latin American country to participate in the 1991 Gulf War sending a destroyer and a corvette in a first deployment and a supply ship and another corvette later to participate in the United Nations blockade and sea control effort in the Gulf. The success of Operation Alfil as it was known, with more than 700 interceptions and 25,000 miles sailed in the operations theater helped to overcome the so-called Malvinas Syndrome. From 1990 to 1992, the Baradero-class patrol boats were deployed under UN Mandate Onica to the Gulf of Fonseca in Central America. In 1994, the three Drummond-class corvettes participated in Operation Uphold Democracy in Haiti. In 2003, for the first time, the Argentine Navy interoperated with a United States Navy battle group when the destroyer Era Sarandi joined the USS Enterprise Carrier Strike Group and Destroyer Squadron 18 as a part of Exercise Solid Step during their tour in the Mediterranean Sea. Naval Aviation Naval Infantry Hydrographic Service Ranks In 2010 the construction of four 1,800-ton offshore patrol ships was announced, but no keel has ever been laid down. Also in May 2010, Defense Minister Nildegay announced that the Navy would continue working on a system that would enable the launch of Exocet missiles from the Navy's P-3 Orion aircraft. In addition, the financing of the local development and construction of a coastal naval defense system that may also be based on the use of Exocet missiles similar to the Excalibur system. In October 2012 the Navy's sail training ship Aero Libertad was seized under court order in Ghana by creditors of Argentina's debt default in 2002. On December 15, 2012 the UN International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea ruled unanimously that the ship had immunity as a military vessel and ordered that Ghana should forthwith and unconditionally release the frigate Aero Libertad. Four days later Libertad was released from Tima and arrived to the port of Mar del Plata on January 9, 2013. The Argentine Navy is underfunded and struggling to meet maintenance and training requirements, as a result only 15 of its total of 42 vessels are in a condition to sail. The 2013 defense budget allowed for the 15 operational vessels to each spend less than 11 days at sea, while the submarines averaged just over six hours submerged in the whole of 2012. Era Ispera spent 73 days in late 2012 stranded in South Africa for lack of spares. The Almirante Brown class destroyers are short of spares and their ordnance has expired, 
while the Antarctic patrol ship Aira Almirante Irizar has been under repair since a fire in 2007. On January 23, 2013 the Type 42 destroyer Aira Santissima Trinidad sank at her moorings having been mothballed for 10 years. The Argentine Navy participates in joint exercises with other friendly navies like Brazil, United States, Spain, France, Canada, South Africa, Italy, Uruguay, and since the 1990s, Chile. They are also routinely held in order to develop a common operational doctrine. Every year in conjunction with the Chilean Navy, the Argentine Navy participate in the Patrulla Antarctica Naval Combinata to guarantee safety to all touristic and scientific ships that are in transit within the Antarctic Peninsula where the Navy is also directly responsible of maintaining the Argentine bases there. In November 2017 the submarine Aira San Juan went missing and was declared a loss on November 15, 2017. 44 crew were on the submarine when it disappeared. The Argentine Navy has four main commands, High Seas Fleet, Submarine Force, Naval Aviation, and Naval Infantry. Puerto Belgrano Naval Base is the largest naval base of the Argentine Navy, situated next to Punta Alta, near Bahia Blanca, about 700 kilometers south of Buenos Aires. Most of the fleet is based there. Officers The Submarine Force Command was created when the Navy first started using submarines in 1927. As of 2013 the force is based at Mar del Plata. The Tactical Divers Group is also under the Submarine Force Command structure. The Naval Aviation Command is the Naval Aviation Branch. Argentina is one of two South American countries to have operated two aircraft carriers. Naval aviation used the Dassault Brigade Super Attendered Fighter in Falklands War, which is currently out of service. The Naval Infantry Command is the Marines branch, Naval Infantry have the same rank insignia and titles as the rest of the Navy and they are currently deployed abroad on UN mandates. Beards. Enlisted men and non-commissioned officers. The Argentine Naval Hydrographic Service provides the National Hydrographic Services. Rank insignia consists of a variable number of gold braid stripes worn on the sleeve cuffs or on shoulder boards. Officers may be distinguished by the characteristic loop of the top stripe. Combat uniforms may include metal pin-on or embroidered collar rank insignia. Rank insignia is worn on the chest when in shipboard or flying coveralls. Officers are commissioned in either the Command Corps or the Staff Corps. The Line Corps is divided into three branches, the Naval Branch, the Marine Corps Branch, and Executive Engineering Branch. Line Corps Reserve Officers are considered restricted line officers in any of the warfare communities, and can only raise to a four rank. All Line Corps officers were distinctive branch-slash-sub-branch insignia on the right breast. Some Staff Corps officers also wear specialization badges. Other common insignia is the Naval War College insignia, parachute wings, etc., also worn on the right breast. Medals and ribbons, if awarded, are worn on the left breast, just above the chest pocket. The rank insignia of Staff Corps officers is placed over a background color denoting the wearer's field, such as purple, blue, red, white, green, brown and gray. The background color for Command Corps officers is navy blue slash black. Following a global trend, Argentine armed forces have prohibited beards since the 1920s. 
This was reinforced in the Cold War era when they were deemed synonymous with leftist leanings. The only exception were Antarctic service within the three armed forces as a protection from cold weather, and submarine service within the Navy as a way of saving water. However, shaving was mandatory upon return to headquarters. In 2000 the Navy broke with this tradition within the Argentine Armed Forces as ADM. Joaquin Stella, then Navy Chief of Staff allow beards for officers with ranks above Teniente de Corbata, according to Section 1.10.1.1 of the Navy Uniform Regulations. ADM Stella gave the example himself by becoming the first bearded Argentine admiral since ADM. Signs Valiente in the 1920s Non-commissioned officers can wear beards from sub-official segundo rank, and upwards. Protocol still requires officers to appear clean-shaved on duty, thus forcing those who choose to sport beards to grow them while on leave. Both full beards and goatees are allowed, as long as they proffer a professional, non-eccentric image. Nowadays, bearded Argentine naval officers and senior NCOs are a relatively common sight. Other ranks insignia is worn on either shoulder boards or breast or sleeve patches. Seamen and seamen recruits wear their insignia on their sleeves. The shoulder boards denote the wearer's specialty. Notes Bibliography